Hi everybody, it's Esological, and today I have probably the biggest video to date on my channel. So if you've been following my progress on this project, this is a semi, this is a working version of the Pi Planter. So basically the idea of, behind this project is to automate the growth process of these tomatoes, which are kind of a mess right now, but it's okay. Um, so basically what I want to do is have my Raspberry Pi over there, which is, I'll zoom in, automate the growth process. So essentially what it does is it has uh, four humidity sensors, which you can see the cut wires coming from over there. It's got a pump and a water supply, which is connected to a relay, and it's got a temperature sensor and a light sensor on board, which do, I'll make sure the PCB, which do a lot of the data collection. So basically every hour, it tweets out a a a pic a uh, tweet containing the current temperature value, the current light value in the room, the value of all of the humidity sensors, the um, and a gra picture of a graph, the flicker of a of the data, like graphed since the start of the process. So today I figured out or I installed the system. I guess basically it's a box because it gets really 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 sunny in this room so the box is clear so it'll let light in but basically the pump which is in there which is submerged in there is not self latching so I struggled with how I was going to deal with that for quite some time so I came up with the solution of just submerging the pump underwater that way when it la it doesn't have to um, have any suction involved to prime itself it'll just do it automatically so there's a the black hose that comes out back around and squirts water into the container. So right now I will show you the watering process working. So here I have a VNC terminal going, so I'll run the Python program. So there we go. It'll water for around five seconds and then turn off. So that's it. So now comes a lot of like stuff I can't explain on video, so please check the blog post below to see the rest of this stuff working. And I will probably have a series of videos um, or a big old thing on my website explaining the whole process. This is definitely a fun project to do, and hopefully um, other people get to see it and enjoy it. So please leave a comment. Thank you very much. Goodbye.